one off today. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Grounder down the line at third. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. The first baseman, number 19, Joey Votto. In is Joey Votto now. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Into the box now. The Mike Moustakis. Mike. And he Moustakis. fouls this one off. Open stance by Moustakis. And now the pitch. Base is empty here with nobody out. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Batting four. The white fielder, number 32, Derek. So now to the plate, Derek Dietrich. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Swing and a looper to left. Here comes Peralta. He can't get to it. This one's down. Oh, and he takes his eye off it here, and it goes right past him. And lucky for them, the right fielder's there to back up the throw. That's it. The catcher, Tucker Barnhart. In now, Tucker Barnhart, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Another first inning RBI opportunity for him here. That evens it up one and one. Mustakis over at second. Dietrich at first with no outs. Again, another foul ball. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he'll get back in safely as wisely he hadn't committed too strongly toward third base. That is good. Two on here with that one man out. And that'll bring up the big left-handed bat of Scott Shebler. First pitch on its way. No one one. Right side. And that is into right field, a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees at strike one. Given the situation, he's got an opportunity to break this game wide open. Behind 0-2 now. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Looks at a ball, one and two. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. A double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a one-two count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. 
the third baseman. Stepping seven. into the box, Eight number eight seven. Eight. And now the Reds look to push more across the plate in the opening oh frame. No balls and a strike to count. A ball and a strike. A ball and two strikes now. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Not shortstop, Cattell. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 1. Popped him up. Suarez in foul ground. One down. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. A count of one ball, one strike to David Peralta. High in the air out to center field. Shebler is there, two gone. So here's Eduardo Escobar. The third baseman. Eduardo. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hits this one hard the other way. Reined in. Throw on Devoto will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Freddie Galvis. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No balls in one strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Off the plate and in. Hits a ball and a strike. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Back to the top of the order now and next to bat will be Jesse Winker. Swing and a miss but he's right on here one strike. On could we see another strike out here it's 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. That's popped up. Here comes Peralta, and that'll get down for what should be extra bases. The bat, the first baseman, Joey Prada. So up steps the former MVP Joey Votto as he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Sent on the ground out to second on to first and Votto's gone for out number two to the third baseman but the throw is wild. Fortunately however the third baseman's able to run it down. Wow. The batter number two. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mike Mustakis. He reached on a single in his first try. Bounce towards the second baseman. Field it cleanly. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Last half of the second set to go, and that will bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. Hey, we're Edward. still in the early stages in this one. They're only Tokyo. down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Swings through it for strike number two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next will be the right handed hitting Jose Martinez. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. 0 1, here's the pitch. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Center fielder coming on. He makes the running play. Two down. Paul Calhoun will stand in now. The right fielder. Paul Calhoun. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. There's the circle change and a dandy that time as he jumps ahead with strike one. This offense just doesn't look like they came to play today. Ugly swing after ugly swing just needs to be a better approach across the board. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Derek Dietrich. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. The windup and the 0 1. Strike two is that's taken on the outside part of the plate. This is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Now that Here comes the first pitch. Tucker Barnhart is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. and Now the pitch. That's by him for strike one. Grounded up the first baseline. He's got it. The tag, and he is out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the big left-handed bat of Scott Shebler. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Calhoun will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. At the plate, Manuel Margo. As we move on to the bottom of Leading inning off. number three. The the center fielder. First offering on its way. Margo. One ball, no strike. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Swing and a miss as he starts the third. The same way he ended the second with a punch out. One away. Now at the plate, Dalton Varsho. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Right through it here. And he's behind 0-1. Varsho. A native of the 49th state of Alaska. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. And it's fouled away. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts that already, and that's out number two. Yeah. First pitch of the at-bat on its and way. Throw. Tim LoCastro tries to bunt his way on here, but it's strike one. A one count. Here's the pitch. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Nick Castellanos now comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is popped up. 
And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in Eugenio Suarez. Here's the first pitch to him. And right into the shift. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Two runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Suarez drives the ball with the best of them when facing right-handed pitching like this, but there is some swing and miss in his game. Some would say it's a little bit of an all-or-nothing approach at times. I think in today's game you can live with it. The three true outcomes, home or strikeout or walk. Bottom line is, when he does put the ball in play, he changes the scoreboard. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The bat. So two are gone now for the Reds in their half of the fourth. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Two runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Hard on the ground towards short, and that's through for a hit. Up next for Cincinnati, the designated hitter, Jesse. At the plate now, Jesse Winker, and he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, one and zero. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. This is on the ground over to first, and he is out on the tag. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Lifted the other way out to left center. Shebler is right there, one down. Now to the plate, David Peralta. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Had him reaching that time. It's strike one. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that will bring up Eduardo Escobar. First offering on its way. Two out, nobody on. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Fouled away. The next 0-2. Swing and a liner. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Ready for another chance? Joey Votto. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Peralta has it, and it's a quick out number one. In now, Mike Moustakis. A hit in two tries so far. Open stance by Moustakis, and now the pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. You know, I'm not sure he didn't throw that pitch out of the zone on purpose. 
They've been swinging at pretty much everything he threw. High in the air and deep to left center field. Peralta going back. And this one is gone. A home run. To the plate now, Derek Dietrich. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Here comes Peralta, but it's the shortstop that gets there. And that's the second out of the inning. Now that. So coming to the plate, Tucker Barnhart. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. One and one to Tucker Barnhart. Lots of hits given up, but so far, no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. The bat. The cover field. Gone. And that brings up Scott Shebler. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. This is swung on and popped up. Crossing into foul territory now behind third. Escobar brings it in and that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And that will bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. No contact there from Encarnacion as the count runs to 0-2 on him. And a swing and a miss there on a late-breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. The first baseman. First offering on its way. Line drive to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Now so bases are empty here with two gone. And that will bring in the left-handed hitting Calhoun. outfielder, Cole Calhoun. Reaches out, but he can't get it. It's nothing in one. Rock-solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys, 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one two he is swung on and missed strike three. Digging in, Nicholas Castellano.
And that diamond rating on his card isn't just for show. It'd be tough to argue he's anything but one of the game's best players. First pitch coming. Here it is. swing and a shot hit down the corner nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball the one two swung on in the dirt for the third strike Varsho reaches out and tags him to make it official and there's one away ready once again Eugenio Suarez 0 for 2 from him so far in this one and here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land out there just foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Skied into straightaway right. Calhoun has a read on it. Two down. Now at the plate, now Freddy that's... Galvis. He's working on a one for two game so far. Yeah. First pitch of the at bat. Ground ball right side. Throw in time and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next it'll be the outfielder, Manuel Margot. The center fielder, Manuel. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Shebler is there and he has it for the first down. Stepping up now, Dalton Varsho. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball just missed above the zone. Diamondback still searching for that first hit of the ball game. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. Two and one now. Now here's the pitch. To two and two now. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Up next to the diamond. Now in the box, Tim LaCastro looking to yeah. put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Tries to catch him napping, but he missed the bunt attempt. Strike one. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center, but he'll flag this one down toward the alley. Nearly trouble, but instead, the inning is over. Ball set for the start of the inning, and next to bat will be Jesse Winker. The designated hitter. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now the 1 0. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to two and one now. Hit down the line at first, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Hit hard back up the middle. Marte fields it cleanly, and the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Digging in now, Joey Votto. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. And Votto's able to lay off that one as the count turns even to one and one. Now here it comes. A ball and two strikes. One, 
That's lifted the other way out to left. Peralta is under it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Ready now, Mike Mustakis. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Hey, in the last at bat when he hit that home run on an off speed pitch, he didn't really crush it, but he certainly hit it well enough to drive it out of the ballpark. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. One and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Strike two is that's taken on the outside part of the plate. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in and then get right back outside. Nice pitch. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Going back is the center fielder. Still ranging back into the pool area and gone. Now back. Standing in now, Derek, Derek Dietrich. Dietrich. As he will swing and miss at a breaking pitch on the outer half, it's nothing in one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Behind 0 2 now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he'll manage to fight this one foul over near the left hand side, and that'll keep the count steady at 0 2. Got him swinging in the dirt. Up with it, Varsho. But no chance to recover. Dietrich is on it first after the strikeout. Trying to pick Tucker. things up where he left Barnhart. off. Tucker Barnhart. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. home is a swing and a high pop-up Martinez is there and the side is retired so the batting order turns over now and set to go to tell Marte he flew out in his last at bat it doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one one and one to the D-backs leadoff man. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Two and one. Into the corner and slicing foul. This is line to left, and that's a base hit. So the perfect game bid ends in the seventh. Now back, left fielder. Back. Into the box now, David Peralta. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. No hits to this point. This is skied into short left center. Castellanos comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Eduardo Escobar standing in. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. He's set. Here it comes. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Edwin Encarnacion to the plate now. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding his zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. And he falls behind 0-2. Two out with the man at first. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Right fielder looking up, still going back. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning.
So now to the plate, Jose Martinez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. And he pulls the string on the circle change, but it's taken for ball one. Now the one and one pitch. Is strike two swinging. One, two. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Scott Shebler. The center fielder, Scott Shebler. Hector Rondon has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Rondon certainly comes at you with the big fastball, but the only knock on it is the apparent lack of control he has over that pitch. Might not always know where it's going, and that can make things a little dicey for pitching coaches. Matty Vivo, we're looking for velo. We're looking for velocity. That's what this guy is. But unfortunately, what comes with him is command and control tends to leave him at times. He can get a lot of swings and misses, a lot of strikeouts, but he can also walk a ton of guys. Nicholas Castellanos swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. And, and boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Stepping in, Eugenio Suarez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Ball one. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. One and one the count now. Here's the pitch. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. Grounded back up the middle. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. The batter, number three, shortstop. In now, Freddie Galvis. And he puts it on the ground to second. Reined in. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Settling in now, Cole Calhoun. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Stays alive, still 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Dietrich is there and he makes the catch for the out. So striding forward now, Manuel Margo. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit softly down the line at first, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Even one and one count to Margot. One and one. Okay. 
can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Looking to punch him out again the pitch. Fouled off. The one two. Two two. Getting late four two our score as we play the eighth inning. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes now out number two. Joker. First pitch Joker. on its way. And he fouls this one off. The windup and the 0 1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Hey, after that terrible swing, you find yourself down 0 2. Step out, deep breath. Adjust the batting gloves, flip a coin, and go all in on something. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Up next to the diamond bat, the second base hit. At the plate, Tim LoCastro. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hit to short. Eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. All set to start the ninth in this one and striding forward the designated hitter Jesse Winker. Slapped hard the opposite way but this will be speared at third and that was self defense all the way. One gone. First pitch of the at bat. One out, nobody on. And this is swung on and missed as they jump ahead of Otto here. 0 and 2. And he popped him up. Marte over to his right. And he makes the catch for the second out. At the plate, Mike Mustakis, and his confidence has to be in a really good place right now, having already launched two balls over the fence in this one, and it's fouled away. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Hard ground ball. Defense played him perfectly. Fielded cleanly, and the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Cattell Marte. Robert Stevenson is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Now pitching for Cincinnati, number 55, Robert Stevenson. First offering on its way. And here's a fastball called for strike one. That misses. One and one the count now to the Arizona shortstop. Now here's the pitch. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead it's two and two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And that is the start they were looking for down by two as that misses for ball four. Here's the first pitch to him. Popped up. Suarez has room in foul territory. One out. Digging in, Eduardo Escobar. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just so tempting. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. 
Next will be the cleanup hitter, Edwin Encarnacion. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. and One ball and one strike to the Diamondbacks' first baseman. One and one now to Encarnacion. Arizona down to its last strike. To two balls and two strikes now. Two two. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. 4-2 to two, the final score today. Cincinnati jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Luis Castillo earns the victory on the mound. Luke Weaver takes the loss despite working seven strong innings. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Four runs on 11 hits. No error. They left eight men on base. For the Diamondbacks, two runs on three hits. One error. They left two men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 56 minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon, 48,686. The Diamondbacks thank you for joining us.